on this episode of NTS Adventures. Calumet Lake is kicking our ass today. Typical fall wind, early fall wind. The G3 can handle it, but the problem is, two old soldiers can't. Port is getting destroyed here, man. Pay your attention to the left there, you'll see the fish we're marking. Oh, hang on a sec. Speaking of which, yeah. There, Mark. Just keep going. I'll start that again. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Life is good! Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the show. Quite truthfully, uh, I wasn't going to film anything today. Uh, I'm out here with my brother Mark, and we're just having a good day. But we're starting to get in some fish here, and uh, we just uh, got into a decent one there. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to pull the camera out, and uh, if we keep getting into them, I'll keep her going. If I don't, you'll never see this. Stay tuned. Oh, Oops. oh I was just hooked up too. Oh man, are you still on? Yeah, I am. Put a wall in eh? He's up, he's up on the top, the little fella. Yeah, I think so. He's probably going 13, maybe 14. Yeah. I just missed one too. We were just worried I missed a double header there. For those of you that are just joining us, my brother Mark and I have been out here for about three hours now and I really wasn't even going to pull this camera out, but we started getting into some fish here, and uh, we're having a good time, so I figured I'd get a little bit of footage here. we got about five in the tub already, yep. and uh, we're going to keep going until we got um, our eight walleye, and then we're going to go to the beach, let Maggie pee, and then maybe target some smallmouth. We'll see how it goes here. Right now, we're not even... Uh, we're not even thinking that far ahead, honestly, because the walleye seem to be biting. So we'll see how she goes here. Stick around. Seem to be a little, a little more of a subtle presentation. I found that most of the fish I've caught today was one I wasn't even trying. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm jigging away, jigging away here, nothing's happening. And then when I just stop and drag my line, like you said, and start making a talk, it's just pick up. Yeah, just that little movement forward there. Yeah, they kind of they kind of like that. There you go. Yeah. He was rubbing that for a little while there. Rub snuggle up. Oh, he's just a little tinier. Okay. That's all right. Yeah. Kind of what we've been picking up here for the start of the morning, but. We have gotten into a couple a couple bigger ones. So we're just gonna keep slugging away here until we uh, fill our tub.
Mark's on again. A little better. A little better. That'll go in. Oh, you're losing, using a Smarty. Let's take a quick, quick look at it, Mark, please. Certainly. Mark's using the Smarty mags. He's using the Smarty. Yeah, okay, that's a VM, uh, VMC, eh? VMC, yeah. Yeah, that's a good jig. I got a couple. Well, they work great, yeah. Just slices right through it, eh? Mm -hmm. Right on, that's six. Getting closer. As soon as you go over that hump, get from one side of it, and move over it and go to the other side of it. Oh, they're, they're there. there. Take them. Pick up. Got him. Oh, he's a nice one, too. Net each. Yeah. A little better. Yeah. Oh, get in there. Oh, that's twice you saved me. <laughs> that's twice. That's, uh, yeah, that's twice you saved me. <laughs> Second time Mark has saved me on a fish there. Meaning the hook popped out as soon as he netted it. I'm a good net guy. Yeah. Apparently. Let's take a look at that. Hang on, Mark. We're doing okay in here. Got, uh, what are we at, six now? Seven? Six, yeah. All right, Maggie, uh, I can... don't knock my, uh, don't mind knock my rod under the water, whatever you do. I don't get upset with you very often, but that would be a reason to be upset, even though it wouldn't be your fault. I'd, I'd probably glare at you, and then I would be mad at myself for glaring at you. Let's keep her going. Well, there's some nicer ones down here when I'm, there's a lot of dense red on some of these marks, you know what I mean? Yeah, big fat arcs. Yeah. It's kind of this uh, little half moon here. Yeah, there's just a little hump. And all you're doing is you're going from one side of it to the other side of it. Yeah, oh, there we go. I can't believe how the wind has died down here. <laughs> when we first came out this morning, we were just getting destroyed by that east wind. Now it, uh, it's kind of... It's okay now. Yeah. It's not wake the wind. It's always the way, eh? You're waiting for that last one for your limit, and it always takes forever. Sometimes you just gotta leave the spot for a little bit and then come back through it again. Yeah. And when you think about it, they got the brain the size of a pea. You know, how, <laughs> how long of a memory do they have? Yeah. I'm Thanks. sure. You know? Yeah, you leave Uncle, Uncle Mark alone. Oh, come here. He's fine. All right. <laughs> Uncle Mark's just as You're bad. You're treating her too good, Uncle Mark. Mark's just as bad as she is. Yeah. <laughs> So the east wind has uh, been a thorn in our side all morning. We've been out here since about eight o'clock. It picks up and then it dies down and it picks up. You know what they say, anybody who's watching the channel is an angler. When the wind is from the east, fishing is least. Well, I can't say that goes true for us today because we've probably boated about, conservatively speaking, anywhere between seven and 10 fish each. Uh, that's including the smallmouth and the rockers and uh, the couple cats we got. So we're having a fishful morning. <laughs> Uncle Mark <laughs> taking care of Maggie. 
<laughs> spoiling her again. But we are still on the hunt for our eighth walleye before we uh, go do a bit of bass fishing before we go in. That's a bit of a, we're having a bit of a struggle getting it. It was just all of a sudden they just turned off. But we're going to drift back over that spot where we got those last couple and hopefully we'll solve this uh, dilemma in short order here. In short order. Yeah, we'll see. Alright, thank you, sir. Not a too small. I mean, we've probably doubled our limit technically here, but uh, Mark and I consider ourselves ethical fishermen and we're trying to keep at least 13 plus. But sometimes uh, that's hard to do. We've got all these males back here. This is a big spawning bay back here for sure. And uh, this, these little, seeing all these little males here is a really healthy sign for a fishery. It truly is. Brother, I think it's another, another baby. Holy. It's even smaller than the one you had. Creepers, creepers. Well, so that's technically. I guess we can say, well, yeah, we have gotten our limit, but technically do we though? This is the question. Do we or don't we? Have we caught the limit? Well, have we caught the limit? Yes. Do we have Probably the twice limit? over. Do we, <laughs> do we do, have the limit? Do we have, do we actually have the limit? That's the hardest part of the limit, is actually having it. <laughs> For those that are curious, basically this is what Mark and I are up to here. You can see that uh, every time we're passing over this little area, if you look on the right hand side, I'll switch to the map in a second here, but just draw your attention to the left there, you'll see the fish we're marking. Oh, hang on a sec. Speaking of which, yeah. There, Mark, just keep filming that, please. Sure. Hopefully I don't need to get the net for you. Yeah. So yeah, this is what I was saying, we're just, they're just stacked in here, and every now and then, we're getting a lot of these guys. They're like the 13 inchers, but uh, every now and then we're getting one a little better, so. We'll just keep we'll just keep her going here. Sorry, I didn't get that one in the boat for you guys, but trust me, it was nothing special. So, <laughs> uh, so we'll get back to here, and if you guys can see, basically, I'll go to switch to the map here, and if you can see, we're kind of on to the uh, as you guys are looking at it, onto the left hand side there. There's kind of a, like a mini flat in the middle there, and then on the other side of it is deep water. And the other side is deep water as well. So what we've been finding, and it took us about an hour to finally really dial it in here. You can see our uh, existing pass there down to the bottom and up to the left. And where we tried, we did pick up a couple, but since we've been on this area here going to either side of that hump, that's where we're having our best luck. So again, for those that care, that's what we're up to right now. And uh, we're doing okay. Like I said, I think we got... Uh, Seven, seven fish in the tub right now, and uh, we're going to try and get our eighth here. But uh, that's what's shaking. So we've uh, abandoned trying to get our eighth walleye back here. Uh, it's just getting a little bit to be a bit of an issue with boat control because uh, my trolling motor has been running non non-stop here for about five and a half hours now. Anyway, we're going to uh, move back up to the north side of an island that we uh, know of, and uh, we're going to see if we can maybe get our eighth walleye there, or we'll. Uh, get a few smallmouth. We've got about 90 more minutes out here and then uh, we're gonna go home so we're gonna make the best of it. We'll see how she goes.
I apologize for the wind noise on the, on the uh, camera there. I didn't feel like digging out my mics. But uh, basically, Mark and I have given up on the uh, walleye for now. We might even have eight in the tub, quite truthfully. I just don't feel like fishing through and counting them. But let's call it seven. If we get one, we'll count to make sure. But for now, uh, we switched up to some smallmouth fishing. I dropped the Sanko on, and Mark's got a spinner bait on. And uh, who knows, maybe even he'll get a toothy critter. We'll see how it goes here for the next half hour or so. Stay with us. Better? Yeah. People are going to get seasick watching this. Nice. All right, guys. I think uh, we'll end this on a good note. Thanks for joining us. Mark and I out doing some uh, walleye and bass fishing. Got about seven or eight in the tub. Caught about 20 walleye back there. It was a really good morning. We're gonna fish we're back right. here for a couple bass, but for the most part, we're done. Anyway, you guys know what I say. Life is hard. Have fun. Support your troops. We'll see you next time on NTS Adventures. Calling out.
typical fall wind, early fall wind. The G3 can handle it, but the problem is, two old soldiers can't. Work is getting destroyed here, man. Creep along at 25 miles an hour when the boat goes 45. Thanks! Gonna have to eat some motor in tonight. Maybe a little bit of extra of the flour. Job done. Life is good. <laughs>